actually just keep the Madrids, and then he's just gonna get cooldown reduction and just full tank. Right. And even sell the Madrids later. You don't upgrade it to Feral Flare. Wins decided to go a bit of a a bit of a mix. I want some damage in the start. Okay, I didn't actually manage to snowball. So now I'm gonna build some tank, but it's Staying too late. In the jungle. Yeah. yeah, I think at the end of the day, it was the fact that he didn't snowball is one of the biggest things that stopped him from getting here. A damage Rengar against a Kog'Maw team is not flawed by any matter. You do need to be able to kill him quickly, but when you fall behind, it just makes it look pretty bad. DSM looking to dodge another one on this. Pink oh, possibly going out. Time. They do get the Shockwave. Lust Boy disengages the fight. The Equalizer not hitting much. There is hardly any follow-up, though, from TPA. It's going to be a wait on the ultimate. This Sonic Wave hits, and he takes it all the way in. Amazing. Pushing back BB and Morning, and it's going to be the last inhibitor turret for Team Solomid if they want it. I mean, finally, TPA actually got a decent Shockwave, but it was when they had a 15,000 gold disadvantage. This will be the game. It looks like it is a 40-minute matchup between Team Solomid and TPA. They will go 2-1 on the group. A lot of people wondered what would happen in this match, and it's Team Solomid coming out with the victory. By far.